Right, yes, uh, we are uh, currently adjusting the CRT on the PDP-12, uh, trying to get it centered. The sound you hear, and we'll, we'll do a demo on this later, but the sound you hear is the sound of the least significant bit of the accumulator getting toggled, um, which is what makes the speaker sound. So um, I don't know if it was 40 years of sitting around or or maybe Dawson uh, fiddling oh, with pots, but oh. the uh, screen was a little out of whack. We have um, a problem. Oh, we have a problem. It won't go full width. Oh, interesting. Well, the pot, the, the pot stops there. Yep. So it's supposed to be trying the X. It's supposed to be 5 by 4 so 5 by 5 or 4 by 4 Oh, it's 4 Could by 4 Could it be four. the setting switches on the back at all? Could be, don't know. So the, the image should fill the screen, so uh, we have to figure out why it doesn't. But the awesome thing here, jumping to uh, way ahead, is that the machine actually runs. It's successfully doing the video demo, and this is actually running in link mode, not in PDP-8 mode. Oh, Warren, Warren fiddled some switches in the back. Maybe X bigger. I think it might be a Terminator or something. Okay. Termination. Let's crank that down. I imagine I'm going to be saying oh, this yeah, uh, really quite a lot, but they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> now, Warren, you stopped it on this part of the demo, right? Yes, if you send it an F key, that freezes. Okay. And then any other key will make it continue on. Okay. So there, there are other parts of this demo, like an X drawn corner so to corner, and a couple other things. And one thing you'll notice is you get very good viewing angle on the CRT scrolling. Yeah. That's why they got this. This is a, for perception experiments. Ah. <laughs> so Warren, what did you do in the what did you do in the back to get it to full screen? Yeah. Uh, there was a switch, and I assume it was a termination resistor. So it may have been doubly terminated, or maybe we're running it unterminated right now. But I have to open up and see it to see what it really says. Sure. In the manual. But um, that looks a lot better. We're not getting rain. If you actually look at these closely, those are individual dots. So it moves over, intensifies the dot, moves over, intensifies the dot. So and that, you can move X, Y, and you can turn the beam on. That's because this this is not a, a you know modern CRT monitor with pixels. It's, it's actually a, you know essentially an oscilloscope. So Warren's unfreezing the program, so now we'll see the other demo patterns. And show the, the switch, the channel switch here. Yeah. So there are different channels so you can illuminate or, or change different um, you know, parts of the image. And here's the corner to corner X showing that it's properly centered. And that's only good for is if it's totally messed up. Yeah. <laughs> the square is where you, you know, line it on. Yeah. And, uh, he hasn't done his homework yet and hasn't read the manual. But. Well, you know, it's not like you guys haven't been busy. So let me sneak by you and, and show how we're loading the programs. So down here is the serial. And I'm sorry, it's super loud because the speaker's right here by my face. Oh, thanks, Dawson. You turned it down. So the, the serial cards that they added, I'm... I'm Oh, Warren's going to open it, so I don't have to put my head inside the computer. Oh, I get blood on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not concerned about you. I'm no concern. I know, I know. So, so these bright green cards. So this is the cable for the serial, and this is the new clock. Yeah, and and we got these cards from somebody who who built basically uh, higher speed serial interfaces. Vince Slingstad is his name. And so that serial goes down and is connected. So what is this card? That's the same one from the other channel. Okay, so we've got so one baud generator and one serial. Baud rigs here. Oh, okay. So it's this one. Right, so that's the serial card we're using now. That's the baud rate generator below. We have to take them off. Yeah, yeah, and then and Warren's working on a new a new card here, second one. And then that's going back here to this machine and we're using the terminal to send commands. And I'm glad I brought in my Model N keyboards because, uh, of course, that would be the most appropriate 
way to uh, drive this computer. Way too new. Way too new, as Warren says. Yeah, absolutely. Way too new. Okay, so this is pretty rad. It's actually... It's 70s technology. Yeah, I know. It's 80s. Ugh. Embarrassing. Um, but this is pretty rad. We've got the, the yep. monitor, the display the, working. Uh, it's actually running in link mode, whereas previously we were running in PDP-8 mode. Um, this is uh, pretty pretty amazing, and uh, we we owe this this fast progress to Warren, who's had a lot of experience with uh, these machines and and similar. So um, more videos later, but I just had to say this is pretty cool. All right, bye.